Good morning, oil traders. It is Newsday, Thursday, October 12th at 9.07 a.m. Eastern Time. We're just uh, under 23 minutes away from market open here on the East Coast. And it looks like it's going to be a bearish morning, um, morning at least, um, ahead of EIA news. So yesterday we got the API news out um, after the close here on the East Coast, and they called for a large build which was in contradiction to the expected draw, small draw though, that EIA was expecting um, and is expected to announce today. So API has had a good track record the past couple of weeks and they've gotten the call right, um, more or less. So if EIA does come out and announces a build as API suggests in um, contrary to the uh, small draw that was previously posted, um, that certainly would lend strength to the bears, um, as we're seeing this morning. Um, we've dropped 85 cents from yesterday's closing um, down to below 50.50 now. Um, so yeah, that being said, what is my plan? So heading, if we open at these levels, basically I think I'm going to be selling two of my short positions that are in the money at this moment. I've got the short from yesterday at 51.27 and the short from Tuesday at 50.55. So it's just barely in the money at this point. Um, and because I don't have any long positions at all, if we take a look at my portfolio here on tradingjournal.ca, you can see I'm only in HOD, which is the horizon uh, ticker symbol for their bear ETF on crude. Um, and because I don't have any long positions at all, I'm inclined to add at least a small long position in order to start to build up that um, in my portfolio. Uh, you know, we've seen the market go in opposite directions to news output uh, pretty consistently past couple of weeks. When we're when the news is bearish, we go up, and when it's bullish, we go down. So you know, go figure. It can go either way. Um, so just the fact, you know, going based on the fact that we're getting uh, bearish news reports this week does not mean that we're actually going to end up hitting below $50 today. Um, you'd certainly expect that, and I certainly expect that, um, you know, given the fact that I've been holding my bear positions uh, for so long, I certainly am a bear, and I will continue to be a bear even by purchasing long. Uh, but... I recognize the fact that uh, I've got you know very heavy exposure in the shorts right now and a little bit of balance would be a welcome scenario. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking at these prices, um, we're hitting new lows at this very moment, um, 50.41 right now. We've hit below into the 50.30s a second ago. So if we open at these prices, I think I'm going to be exiting two short positions for a small profit and uh, looking to buy a long position. I have to check the charts to see where exactly I would do that. Um, but these prices already look pretty comfortable to me. And if you look at my um, videos from yesterday, I had said that anything below 50-50 was a good entry for a long position. Um, so yes, I do recognize that I might get stuck with this long position if the bearish sentiment persists and we can and continue our decline here, um, which is why I'm inclined to buy a small long position. Um, but uh, I feel like it's not a bad move. So let me know what you guys think. Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, performance, etc., etc. Uh, in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys after news and towards end of trading today at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.